Long before human civilization existed, a massive asteroid weighing 124.8 billion tons was on an imminent collision course with Earth, having already partially broken up as it approached the planet. Moments later, a massive fireball became visible which shined 125 times brighter than the sun, being visible for several thousand miles. Then, a powerful explosion occurred, quickly carving a 7.1 mile or 11.4 kilometer deep crater. This flung up large amounts of rock which then re-entered the atmosphere as superheated material going on to start wildfires across large swaths of the Earth's tropics. What had just occurred was the formation of what is considered to be Europe's largest impact crater known as the Cilion Ring. This structure is today located in Sweden, and since it contains a series of five lakes in a circular pattern, this ancient 376.8 million year old structure is still visible from satellite. The Cilion Ring measures 51 kilometers or 31.7 miles wide and even contains a large raised area in its center, which becomes visible once I overlay select elevation data. This central large mass represents what is known as a central peak. Central peaks generally form on Earth when an impact crater larger than 2 km diameter is generated. After the bowl shape of the newly formed crater appears, a large mass of rock at the edge of the crater suddenly acts like a liquid and flows into the bottom of the crater. This material then collides with itself and is forced upwards, forming a central peak. These features are telltale signs of large ancient impact events. However, due to the age of the Cilion Ring, it has led to an interesting speculation. Could the original impact event have caused one of Earth's worst five mass extinction events? The event it is speculated to be potentially linked to is known as the Late Devonian Mass Extinction. For a fairly long time, this extinction event which killed off 75% of the planet's species, including the sea sponges known as Stromatoporoidea and the jawed fishes known as Placiderms, was thought to have occurred 376.1 million years ago. The Cilion Ring seems like a near-perfect match for causing this mass extinction event at first, since the impact structure's age has a margin of error of 1.7 million years and formed 376.8 million years ago. However, the potential connection was subsequently disproven for two reasons. One, the actual peak of the late Devonian mass extinction was later found to have occurred not 376.1 million years ago, but rather 371.9 million years ago. Also, on this chart, you might note that the extinction peak for the late Devonian event is the broadest of the five major events. The reason for this is that it was actually composed of three separate mass extinctions which occurred in periods of time with pauses in between during 384, 371.9, and 358.9 million years ago. The 371.9 million year old mass extinction is referred to as the Kalawasa event and has since been instead linked to a massive flood basalt province in Russia referred to as the Viloy Traps. Although we do not know for sure what the composition of the impacting asteroid that formed the Cilion Ring was, we can assume it was a chondrite. Chondrites largely formed during the early solar system as very small particles of rock and dust clumped together to eventually form a larger cemented mass. In this case, the asteroid measured approximately 4,100 meters or 13,451 feet wide. 376.8 million years ago, a chance close encounter of this massive rock with a much larger asteroid caused it to be launched into the inner solar system on a collision course with Earth. Entering Earth's upper atmosphere, it began to partially burn up while moving at a speed of 17 kilometers per second or 38,000 miles per hour. Ten seconds later, this mass of rock impacted the planet, generating an explosion equivalent to the energy release of 4.31 million megatons of TNT and generating a magnitude 9.0 earthquake. As a 10,000 mile per hour shockwave raced outwards from the source, the extreme intensity of the generated fireball caused everything within a 690 kilometer radius to immediately ignite. While the shockwave would dissipate going outwards from its source, it would topple every single one of the primitive trees facing outwards from the blast in a 1,000 km radius. While this event probably triggered an impact winter and devastated regional fauna, it did not cause a mass extinction event. As a final note, I would like to thank my new patron Eric V. Thompson for supporting this channel.